Randy surely shook with pride. He checked on his equipment and made sure his pack was tied. He had to sit and listen to those awful engines roar. You ain't gonna jump no more. How's it going, guys? Hupman Spider here, back with a 1v1 uh, against Rummich. So, this is the second game we played. <clears throat> we swapped spawns, but he kept his uh, the, fin the Finland army there. I stuck with the Soviets. Um, so, still playing the Support Doctrine. He's playing as the Finnish defense doctrine. So I'm rushing up a unit to the northeast and I got some guards heading to the southwest. <coughs> so we're sending riflemen detachments to the center. And you can see we got this guards SMG squad making its way over to the southwest point. <clears throat> so we do get to this point early. The boys are pulling up onto the southwest. So you see, we kind of catch him in the open here, running into the point. Happy with that. Stirred off the initial engagement, engagement strong there, getting a squad caught out in the open. We did get a scout squad into his northeast point quickly, so... We're going to try and do a rematch on this map with uh, me playing the Axes and him playing the Allies, but I still think that the Soviets are a little bit overpowered. Hopefully this video demonstrates how the Soviets are a little bit broken in PvP. So hopefully some kind of nerf can come. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think... I think Ramic agrees too that Soviets are a little bit broken. So. Might not have been the best doctrine either for Finland to play was the defense. Probably should have played all around. I'm not a big fan of defensive doctrines at all. So. Um, yeah. This, this is something I... Th I, I not comfortable with the defensive doctrines. Using the anti-tank rifle here to try and deal with that T20 before it can cause too much damage for me. So we got two anti-tank rifles there. We end up catching that T20, taking it out. So we do reinforce that center here with another guard squad. So they're uh, they're running up. So overall, good opener. I was quite happy with my opener. Got good control of most of the points. And now he's uh, really piling into the center. So. But we did have uh, decent control for a while there in the center. While still fighting back the push onto the north. So he's got, it looks like he has another T20 pushing up to the 
<clears throat> northeast. So I catch that there. Gonna pull over one of the anti-tank boys there. Go try and help that situation out. I'm not overall too worried about that flank. That was just like a something to hold for a little bit there. A little bit of an annoyance to throw him off. But we do get the cap weight back into the center here. <clears throat> but you can see he's starting to uh, push down from that position on the top there. But we're five minutes in, and it's 5.50 to 2.32. So, overall pretty happy with the situation at hand. Like I said, Soviets seem somewhat strong in these situations. So, it can be annoying. Throwing some smoke out here, trying to shield those guys from that T-20. Looks like he's got his Bofors cannon out already. He was using those uh, cannons to great effect, playing with the defense. So I will hand him that. He's he's uh, very very good with towed weapons. I'm I'm not nearly as well versed at, in moving the towed weapons so de like so um, properly. So you can see here, I kind of see that truck. So looking to line something up. Using the T20 here, or not the T20, but the B BT7. Send up a Panzer Shrek squad over to the northeast. Try and help with what's going on there. Guards rifle or guards SMG squad here, waiting for that T20 to be dealt with so they can push onto that point. But you can see this the power of the PPSHs. They're just annihilating the forces there that are pushing, pushing in. So you see the bow forces opening up on us. Looking to get a good hit here. Get a miss. Not ideal. Not ideal. There we go. Good hit. Happy with that. <clears throat> so there we go. Dealt with the Bofors cannon pretty quickly. So relatively, relatively in good position now. Ah, Panzer Shrek gets eaten alive by that T-20. Unfortunate. T-20 does go down to that Panzer Shrek, but we lose most of that squad there, so not ideal, exactly. Not sure what he brings up in that truck there, if he's got trying to build some cover or something. He was using trucks to, to build cover on the points, which is a pretty handy tactic. I've, I've never done that myself. But uh, definitely an eye opener. You can see the power of that BT7 when you get it up in an elevated position, and you can just get uh, you can get fire support going. It's just devastating. Sending another recon squad over, trying to you know press him on his point so that he has to reinforce it. Trying to get some good use out of this BT-7 here. Probably have it a little too far. Trying to destroy his cover. You can see we're throwing smoke out here. Getting ready to make a push. And we're getting hit by something here. Oh, so he's got an armored car. So... Unlucky for me. Wasn't paying attention.
You can see that armor car is doing some decent work for him. The only thing is that's going to take away from his uh, squads. The ability to get squads, so. <clears throat> we do grab a Panzer Shrek that was dropped. And we're sending that guy there to go and try and uh, deal with that situation. The armored car. Would have been nice to uh, not have lost the BT-7 like that. You can see he threw smoke to cover that armored car coming in. So That's why even with all that infantry in the middle, it's still stuck up so far. Make a decent little push onto the northeast. Just throw his forces off. Got the Panzer Shrek going for that. Panzer Shrek going for the armored car there. So that's not too bad. You can see we got the cap going onto the northeast. And at the 10 minute mark, we're, or 1040 mark, we're sitting at 807 to 193. So we're playing, playing pretty good here. Oh, this is a, this was the most annoying thing. The guy pulls at the pistol instead of the Panzer Shrek. That could have changed things pretty good there if that would have uh, done what I needed it to. We can see here things are starting to fall apart a little bit for us. Um, trying to get on to the points. He's taking the middle back. Ooh. So we get we get lucky with an AT grenade there. Knocks out that armored car. So Quite happy with that. Ooh. You can see he's making a good push for that center. We did we did just reinforce that center too, I believe. With some guards. You can see he's cleared off the He's cleared off the northeast point. So we do knock out that armored car for good. So that's Making, that'll make things a little easier for us. Pulling up more guards. We can just see... <clears throat> we're going back and forth here. Fighting for control. Looking to push back onto this point. Got a couple guys here heading into the point. You can see these guys are getting caught in a little bit of an open crossfire here. So good comeback from Ramich here. Big, big time comeback. He's got another Bofors cannon. We're two minutes out from getting T-34s, so I figured let's kind of... Let's start to take some casualties here. Let's try and set up a little bit of a, you know... Let's just keep pushing. I knew I probably wasn't going to be able to make any progress, but the thing is, is at least maybe we can get some uh, pressure so that he can't just push on my point. So just trying to keep the pressure up. But you can see just how strong that Bofors cannon is. It's pretty unreal when you actually get it uh, running good. When it dies instantly to a BT-7, it's uh, not the best unit in the game. But you can see he's locating it. Kind of disappointed in myself. You can see he's going right on the offensive here. Going hard. So he's pushing that Bofors cannon up. So catching me in the open here big time. Very annoying, very annoying. So I'm just stalling out here. You 
You can see that cannon's destroying everything. Twenty seven seconds away from a good unit to counter attack. <clears throat> I don't think he was happy with the spawn. But a lot of guys say this map's unbalanced. So I think the Soviets are unbalanced. I don't mind this map, to be honest. But these guys know more. Ramich is definitely been playing it. So I don't uh, claim like I know any more than them. But <clears throat> I think the Soviets are just kind of a little broken. Obviously, I'm not displaying the best, the best here, but... Oh my god, those T-34s getting in a traffic jam. So we are, see he's completely on the offensive here, pushing forward with everything he has. <clears throat> he was talking about playing uh, Defensive Doctrine. Um, I, I never said to play Defensive Doctrine or whatever, so I mean... I like to play offensive and support doctrines. I'm not a big fan at all of, of these kind of doctrines at all. So, unfortunate. Bad doctrine choice. <clears throat> but you can see he gets away with his bofers here. I hate these stupid cannons. The way they can just mount up and run away. Drives me nuts. But you can see his counterattacks going. We are counterattacking ourselves, getting back into the, trying to get back into it here. Using the dual T-34s to make a push. He's pushing up everywhere. Looks like he's got a Panzer Shrek coming up. So we're looking to use this T-34 here to get in position. We got these assault, assault sappers pushing in. BT-7's here to support. So a big counter attack coming. <coughs> I could tell he was going hard on his attack. He wanted to crush me there and take me off the map. So these T-34's turning it around for us. Dual T-34s, they're just, uh, they're hard to beat. You add the BT-7 to the mix, and it's, uh, it's pretty wild. But you can see the T-34 there. It's going to work for us. He has a Panzer Shrek guy that was rushing up to take out my, take out my T-34. He gets killed by the SMG squads. Nice. So we do hit his uh, gun there. But not having much luck otherwise. You can see the boys here with the T-34. Not a bad position for it. We're capping back the center. And the... Southwest. So we're definitely going to have a rematch on this map. He wants to play Soviets. He wants me to play Finland. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of defensive doctrines at all. So I'm going to get absolutely destroyed. So I do give kudos for playing uh, not the best doctrine with the uh, Finland. So there we go, we get destroyed by a pack 40. Not paying attention, he gets his gun. It's frustrating when you're working somewhere and then you 
You look over and you lose a tank. So using this T-34 here to try and kill the truck, but truck can take whatever punishment. There we go. So guns getting hit. Trucks out of action. There we go. Bofors down. So that's two Bofors down. I think those are doctrine units. So we got the BT-7 still holding this down. You can see we're pushing in, pushing in the boys. So we are counter counterattacking successfully here. So I was happy with this. Getting back on the point. <laughs> that was just me shit talking. <laughs> I think once the count, once uh, I think once he was starting to overrun all my points and push me back, I think he might have thought that, that was game, which is a fair judgment because it looked like I was about to get crushed. Even I thought I was kind of done for. So pushing those guards, making a looking to make an attack on that northeast point, force them into. Uh, Try and force him into coming that way. Is that another Bofors cannon? Oh my god. Loves vehicles. Or loves those cannons. Not vehicles, but cannons. T-34 coming up. Looking to use the T-34 here to push out. Push out his uh, northeast point. So we do got the flamethrower here, which can do some damage. So I was happy with that. I don't know what killed that thing. Holy moly. You can see he's... Uh, the T-34 did its job and cleared out. Another Bofors cannon caught us off guard when we're not looking. Just the amount of Bofors cannons you can get out. I think they're, what are they, a tier 1 unit? Or DP, tier, tier 1 DP. <clears throat> so yeah, they're annoying to deal with. Using the T-34 here. Looking to clear them out. See, we're decent success there, pushing him out. So kind of perfect as he was, as he was counterattacking my point. I am counterattacking his point, so we traded points essentially. T34 is coming around, join the fight. Call up another BT7 here. BT7 versus Bofors, basically. Don't want to lose this one. You can see he's moving his pack. Missing, missing her shots. Boom. That was lucky. Very lucky. Nice T-34 shot on his, uh, Cannon. I think his bow first died at the same time. Get a little cocky here. Probably should have pulled this thing back. Or brought it over to the... I should have brought it over to that other side there. You can see he's already got another gun up. Brings up a pack immediately. Trying to back out. Shouldn't have stopped though. Stopping the micro a little bit. There we go. Tank's dead. Pack 40. <clears throat> I 
He's going to full destroy it. Bringing up more guards, SMGs. He's using that pack gun to great effect there. I gotta move my BT-7 a little bit. You can see I brought up a lot of troops there to that northeast. Guards, or uh, not guards, but I have assault sappers, so unbelievable units. He's starting an assault onto my uh, south, southwest, so I did have an officer there. I'm just trying to close the game out at this point. see he's pushing up very aggressive plays very impressive I'm still very impressed by uh, the way he can play even with these kind of doctrines you know so kudos kudos to Ramich for being able to play even with shittier doctrine we're getting eaten alive heading in there holy moly There we go. We are taking back the point. We're on the verge of getting a triple cap going here. I think we're not too far off cap in the center. He's got an officer or something there, maybe. Or maybe not an officer, he's just got more troops. Looking to use that BT. You can see that the counter stopped. I don't know what the hell is going on with this BT-7. I was trying to repair it, but kind of gave up on repairing it. Just trying to get boys into the point, get cap weight. <coughs> so there we go. He is counterattacking here. He's got a AA truck coming out. So you can see that thing's just eating me alive. It's a pain in the ass because those are salt sappers too. You don't want to lose the salt sappers to a damn truck. But overall, it's not the worst thing in the world. We have a triple cap going on. And we're in good position. So I wasn't too upset. See, he's getting ready to he's getting ready to push in diverting a squad over to reinforce that Re fresh squads getting to the center right now but yeah 27 minutes in and we're looking at uh, 920 to 398 so pretty happy with the position we're in see here we're we're just trying to keep the cap weight and it's 936 to 9 or 396 so starting to close the game out a bit here Ooh. BT7 gets a good hit second hit not so much there we go so that knocks out that thing. Not sure why those guys weren't repairing. There we go. These guys were just inside of the cap. So we sit them into the cap. Sending another squad there. Healing up our guys in the center. So there we go. Good game to Ramich. I know you're playing with a difficult faction with the defensive. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.